there's Skips here, and your boy is back with another video, and we're going to be talking about fighting games. I told you I was going to be making one or two videos about these games coming into 2017, and I felt it was appropriate to do it on fighting games. So let's just go ahead and get on into the confirmed games for 2017. We have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, we have Street Fighter V Season 2, we have Tekken 7, which is still touted to come out in early 2017, and we have Injustice 2, we just don't have an exact release date yet. So talking about all these games, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is going back to what a lot of people loved Marvel vs. Capcom 4, which is basically two on two combat, not the triple, not the three characters in one team. And basically with this game, they want you to find team combinations that allow you to extend your combos and not just pick characters as an assist and then basically be shit faced when they die and you don't know how to use them, which a lot of people played Marvel 3 doing Currently right now the game is really really early like as you can tell from like the Mega Man poses when he gets hit and also how the game looks in the general scope it's very very early but the game has a lot of potential and with this game there are many characters that people want in as always when Marvel vs Capcom comes out a lot of people get intense because they want their favorite characters in the game but with this one this game is being made differently actually this game is going to be actually mostly handled over over in America as far as the Marvel side goes. So with that being said, we probably could get some characters that we probably usually wouldn't get in the Marvel vs. Capcom game. Because the way it works is usually Mar Marvel basically lets Capcom know which characters they can use within the game or Capcom will go to Marvel, ask for the licensing rights to certain characters and then Marvel will say which ones they would allow Capcom to use. But now Capcom and Marvel are working on this game together so the possibility of characters for the Marvel side in this game are fucking endless. Seriously, sorry for cursing, but basically there are many, many, many characters from Marvel that could possibly be in this game. The, literally, there are endless possibilities. And with the Infinity Gems being in this game, I'm pretty sure that Thanos is going to be a playable character, which would be amazing to see. Moving on to Street Fighter Season 2. Basically, my problem with Street Fighter, like a lot of other people, it doesn't have a lot of interesting mechanics or features in the game, basically. And and with season two, what I hope they rectify, which is something that I've um, that's kind of been voiced by Maximilian Dude. If you don't watch his channel on YouTube, you should go watch it. He's amazing. He makes great fighting game videos. So if you like that genre of gaming, please subscribe to him. So with that being said, with Street Fighter season two, with these new characters coming out, I hope they're V triggers. Um, and the way they play is just all around crazily different, just to give the game some variety. And hopefully, when they finally make Ultimate or Arcade version of Street Fighter. Fighter 5, they add some new mechanics into the game that weren't in the original version because right now the game is kind of bare bones. It's not a bad game, it's just not an interesting game. It doesn't have enough mechanics to keep you interested. So with that being said, that's my hope for Street Fighter Season 2. Obviously, if you have been looking at it, they said Street, Street Fighter 5 Season 2 is going to be all new, totally brand new characters. So that's crazy to see. We're going to get totally brand new characters in this game. I don't know if they're talking about totally brand new to Street Fighter in general, they may be characters that we have already seen in other Marvel games, but they're being brought over into the Street Fighter universe, or are they touting that they're all new in the sense that you haven't seen them in Street Fighter 5, period. So with that being said, that's crazy to see. Tekken 7 is going to be released worldwide in early 2017. The game initially released in arcades over in Japan back on March in 2015. And if you don't know, Tekken is my favorite fighting game series, so it's kind of made me sad that it's taken so long for this game to actually get shipped out but the wait is damn near over and i can't wait to get my hands on it it looks great the story is looking amazing the characters are looking better than they ever have and all i'm hoping for is that the game has a good and thriving community around it and honestly this game is just all around looking good there's nothing too much more to say it's just it's tekken 7 if you know fighting games you know about tekken and that's pretty much all i'm going to say about this injustice 2 now we are moving on to the sequel of of Injustice which was a great fighting game but I felt and suffered a couple of things which is kind of like bad netcode early on and actually that kind of lasted a long time in its 
cycle which kind of made the game die out. If your netcode isn't good for a fighting game, the community around it is not going to stick around. So hopefully they've learned their lesson with Mortal Kombat X so when Injustice 2 comes out it will have great netcode. But it's interesting to see they have the gears system which allows characters to use different moves. I wonder how this will um, be interpreted into competitive play where there will be certain builds or just be like you can only use defaults in competitive play like in tournaments like Evo and Summer Jam and stuff like that. I just really would love to see how that is going to interact with all of that because that seems like it will be really complicated to figure out. But with that being said, I'm pretty much hyped for this game. Mortal Kombat 10 was a extremely good game. If you haven't played, I think that you should. You can just go ahead and buy it on Amazon. I think it's like 20 or 30 dollars. Even though the online is kind of dying because everybody's ready for Injustice 2, you can still find people on there and honestly it's just a good fighting game in general. So can't wait to see what they do with that. Now moving on to things that could possibly happen with the fighting game genre in 2017. Killer Instinct which is an Xbox exclusive now which is a gaming series that a lot of people never thought that they would see ever come back but it surprised us about three or four years ago when it finally did. Actually I have played this game with my cousin when I was really really young. I have played this game before but it was never for me and I did try it on an Xbox because I have one and I do like the game but there aren't any characters that particularly that I like that makes me want to continue playing the game. But with that being said Killer Instinct has basically put all of their original characters back into the game now. So a lot of people are wondering is Killer Instinct 2 coming out or are they just going to continue with Killer Instinct right now and just make season 4 with all brand new characters or a lot of guest characters from Microsoft games. I don't really know it's a possibility Killer Instinct 4 could happen or Killer Instinct 2 could happen. Either way I'm pretty sure the Killer Instinct fans are going to be happy whichever way they decide to go with the series but Killer Instinct is just an overall great fighting game so if you have an Xbox you should go and try it out it is free to play for um, a little bit. You can try out different characters every day every um, every so often weekly so with that being said go and try out the game and if you like it go and buy it it's really good I really highly recommend it. Now last but not least this year is the 20th anniversary of Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur is my second favorite fighting series next to Tekken and it honestly used to be my favorite but as it went on starting from Soul Calibur 2 and Soul Calibur 2 was a great freaking game amazing then it went to Soul Calibur 3 which was kind of okay but it was still good then it went to Soul Calibur 4 which was which was kind of not the best game and then Soul Calibur 5 was damn new it was just a bad game in my opinion Soul Calibur 5 was a bad fighting game in my opinion so basically with Soul Calibur having its 20th anniversary and Namco Bandai releasing this trailer talking about Soul Calibur's 20th anniversary and saying that it will never be forgotten a lot of people including me are honestly just hoping for a Soul Calibur reboot I just want a complete reboot of Soul Calibur I don't want it to continue on from Soul Calibur 5 I wanted to just I want the story to be rebooted in my opinion I feel like that would be the best thing for the series at this point rename it something else name it instead of it being called Soul Calibur name it Soul Edge this time I think that would be a great and amazing way to bring back the series bring back a gameplay that was more akin to Soul Calibur 2 which a lot of people consider to be the best game in the series me included and with that being said I just hope that Namco Bandai if they decide to bring this series back they do it right and I guarantee the game will sell because the fans are there we're here we want to spend money on these games it's just that you have to make the game good I'll spend all my money on the DLC characters I'll spend my money on the game day one just make sure the game plays correctly please just make sure it plays good and make sure it's fun because I think a lot of people these days when it comes to fighting games and shooting games they're trying to make these games competitive instead of them just making a fun game CSGO was originally just a fun game that became competitive same thing with all of these fighting games they were fun games that became competitive a lot of these competitive games end up becoming this way mainly because they were fun in the first place and I hope they can do that with Soul Calibur so it gain its fans back and gain new ones so with that being said those are all the fighting game rumors and games confirmed to come out in 2017 I know this video wasn't as put together as my JRPG video mainly because there weren't as many games and I kind of went off on that little rant at the end but if you enjoyed the video please upvote it or thumbs it up it's been your boy skips if you have any opinions or you want to let me know
know anything down in the comments, please feel free to do so. It's been your boy and I am out.